Okay. Uh, do you have at all a big pun story maybe you you can share? Uh, well, I mean, it depends where you want to hear. A, a, a cool story, a gross story. Or <laughs> Why don't you surprise us? Give us one. Uh, I mean, like I said, pun was a, was a beast, you know. Ever since day one, let me tell you, this is what we, like, he came to the studio. He would pull his fucking Glock out and throw it right on the couch, on the boom, and <laughs> let's go. So everybody, now we're just looking at this fat motherfucker with a Glock <laughs> on the side, like, yo, what the fuck's going on here? Like, <laughs> we, nobody here is packing guns and shit. <laughs> but, yeah, he was he was crazy. And, you know, he was a prankster, funny motherfucker. You, so, you can you can kind of see his yeah, humor. super prankster. So... One time we was in the studio and they had a, he had a, a, a gun that shoots blanks. So he had one of his boys put an apple on his head. Oh, shit. So we, they locked the door. The engineer, everybody's like, watch this shit. Boom. So he blasts it. He blasts the gun. Bah! So the dude is like, he tilts his head. So the apple falls off. So the, <laughs> The engineer is like with his eyes fucking open. Like he's like, yeah, the engineer, is, Chris, you're next, motherfucker. Yo, this motherfucker tried to leave the studio. We locked, they locked, they. Psh, psh. It's like, yo, you're gonna do it with a grape. <laughs> yo, this motherfucker almost pissed on his pants, B. Like, and yeah, pranks of, of mad pranks, pranks to be. Well, well, give, can you give us one girl story? No, no. Oh, he yeah. can pull them, right? Yo, let me tell you. We had it one time, after party, everybody back to the hotel, boom, boom, Every you know, everybody's in one room, puns on the couch, you know, rest in, I mean, rest in peace pun, in salute peace. Liza, you know, his wife, you know, but, um, you know, it, we was having a good time, yeah, he would be on the couch, we had some, some chicks, you know, messing with him. They would have to lift his stomach to get up in there. Like, Holy shit! And, and, you know, and I'm seeing, I'm we all in the room. Niggas is cheering him on the sides. I'm like, <laughs> I, in my head, I'm like, yo, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> like, yo, I don't want to see this shit. You know what I'm saying? But hey, this shit was going down. You know, Triz. Wow. wow. Oh, so in other words, <laughs> he wasn't a player. He just fucked a lot. Yeah, he just okay. fucked a lot. So and, and bitches wanted to get fucked, and it was like, yo, whatever, lift that stomach up, put it in. All this time, I didn't know that was a true story. Yeah. So so, <laughs> but yeah, you know, Cuban links, you know, triple sace. That, that that's the that's the original TS crew. Like yeah. you know, Fat Joe came. They was already TS. Uh, you know, so Fat Joe was just a new member to TS, basically. Okay. So. Okay, you know, you know what? You don't have to answer this, but I just want to throw it out there because I think it was earlier this. Year, no, it couldn't have been earlier this year. It was late last year where, and it was a social media thing, man. And I hate to see this shit, but it happened. Cuban Links drops so-called paperwork mm -hmm. on Fat Joe. Uh, were you aware of that? What was going on? I kind of seen some shit going, but you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, the story went that Cuban Links dropped uh, supposedly paperwork that uh, what's his name uh, Fat Joe was a snitch okay mm -hmm. and when I looked at it here's the thing that kind of like made me believe more of Fat Joe's story because Fat Joe came out and he spoke on it on his Instagram he said man yeah. I, you guys are killing me I can't believe you guys do this you know I have I have businesses in my hood yeah. I can walk the streets in my hood and for you guys to say this about me yeah that's what I told my son. I said, you know what? I'm going to believe him only because if a guy's a snitch or if a guy did something fucking dirty, he's not going to be able to go back to his neighborhood. Yeah. You know? And I, I read this on social media. I said, don't ever trust a motherfucker that cannot go back to his old neighborhood. Of course. Yeah. Okay. And um, so when I said, I'm going to trust him on this one. Then later on, it came out that supposedly Cuban Link said, and again, this is just all social media rumor shit. Yeah. Hearsay. I don't know them, but I'm just telling you what I read. That he was saying, no, it was fake. Uh, somebody told me to post it up or something to the nature of, uh, uh, I didn't even know if it was even real. And then he kind of backed off that it was fake. So, you know, it, I, I just don't think it's cool like that, especially if they were homies. Yeah. You know, so that was it. I just didn't know if yeah. he knew about it. I mean, I mean, you know, Cuban and Fat Joe got their little war going on. So they're always going to be take, throwing shots at each other, yeah. you know. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Now, uh, um, now as far as... Um, Working with um, uh, 
The, uh, as far as touring with Big Pun, you guys ever tour with Big Pun? Yeah, we did a lot of shows with Big Pun. It was definitely an experience. You know, every 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 event was an experience. You know, like I remember one time being in this tight ass club. Super pack, beat nuts, big pun is in the building. Everybody's ready for us to hit the stage. It was so tight and so hot. Big pun had a fucking leather suit on. Oh, this shit. motherfucker was sweating in the back. They was throwing ice bags on top of his chest just to keep him cool. He was just like, poof, like, yo, like. And finally, we hit the stage. You know, we would, oh, yo. Let me tell you, when we hit that stage, motherfuckers would jump out of their shoes, B. I, I believe like, it. Like, it was wild. And every show was like that, you know? You know, that's what it was about, man. And, and, and Big Pun, he, like I said, he was a fucking lyricist. And he always said, yo, there's not one collab I'm going to do where I'm going to be the weakest nigga. I'm going to be the <laughs> top nigga. Any collab anything. He throw me with Nas, whatever. He's going to fucking kill him. And and he's that's what he lived up to, B. Wow. That's fucking dope, man. I'm glad you're sharing this. 1999, a musical massacre you dropped. Watch out now. Okay. 1999, my son was six. Yeah. Okay, eight, so you want eight? Okay. I'm playing this song. I'm going to read to you some of the lyrics, okay? Yeah. It's kind of funny. Um, you want to hate me because your wife wants an autograph? From the look in her eyes, I can see she wants more than that. When I see fat asses, I make fat passes like quarterback. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I would I would rap that. Yeah. He would walk around the house. Dad, can you play a song, Tat Tat, like quarterback? <laughs> that, that's what that was like yeah okay so I would play you know yeah. the, that shit would come on yeah. and uh, um, ta -ta, like, that's the only part he knew yeah. <laughs> but to them to, to this day that's one of his fucking favorite cuts yeah nah you know like me personally I was always the, the, the humorous guy the humorous MC mm -hmm. because like I said I, I started rapping just for fun so I was like, I'm, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not gonna be like, yo, I'm the best MC in the fucking world, nah. Right. I'm gonna fucking just say funny shit and just have right. fun with it. So when I hear it back, I could, we could all laugh, and you know. Now so. I'm gonna read to you one other part of your verse that I love. Okay, especially because you said something at the very end. It says, "Then I bag this chick with a high and the eye." She did the butterfly, fly. rubbing her ass against my, my butterfly. Fly. I could already imagine my shit stuck inside. Every time, time I strike, haters be, be like, like that, that fucking, fucking guy. guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so the last part I, I lived. Yeah. So, that's what I, so yeah. 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 Man. That fucking guy, like a white boy. You have yeah, to say yeah, that exactly. shit. Or, or fucking guy. I can imagine Joe Pesci saying that. Yeah. So. So yeah, that shit. Oh, good, man. Okay, you know what? Now, I, I have to ask because, you know what? I want to give a big shout-out to Be Real for connecting us. Uh, um, how oh, did yeah. you... No, when you first heard Cypress Hill's first uh, self-titled album, Cypress Hill, yeah. what did you think of that?